What's up, Gorgeous Gamer here, bringing you some more Return 2 within Guild Wars 2. This time we are looking at Episode 2 of Season 3's Living Story, Glint's Legacy. This is Rising Flame. It requires the expansion Heart of Thorns to play, and it introduces a brand new zone, Ember Bay. There are a total of 9 achievements within this new map four different tiers. As usual, we have our Unbound Magic, Mystic Coin, this time the map currency is Stacks of Petrified Wood, and then our Ley Line Weapons Cache. There are 24 Return to Missions. As you unlock and do each one of these, you will be putting it towards the Achievement Seasons of the Dragon. There are a ton of Achievement Points, not to mention there are different tiers where you can unlock Ascended Weapons Chest, Fragment of Prismatic Light, a 32 slot bag, and a third generation legendary amulet, and of course a brand new title. Tip number one, and this relates to every single Return to episode, you should always check out the original Living Story achievements. Not only can you get a ton of ascended gear and achievement points from this, but you might as well knock out two birds with one stone while you're doing the Return to missions. Tip number two, again another general tip. Always check out the maps or the dailies within the area that you're at. This will a lot of times net you a ton of extra rewards that you can complete as you're running around doing the return to missions. Tip three, at least do the return to to the Mystic Coin tier. They sell for a lot, it's easy gold. Tip four, the final tier will net you a Ley Line skin. This is for all the return to for season threes. These can be expensive. If you're going for the achievement to get all of them, this is a great way to get the most expensive skins for free. Doing so will net you seven black lion tickets. Tip number five, each map has its own currency. Each vendor will have unique things to that currency. Also, while you're in Living Story Season 3 and the Return 2s, you'll be netting a lot of Unbound Magic. These vendors will also sell things using Unbound Magic or the combination of both of these. You can net yourself anything from trinkets and such of ascended quality, transformation potions, recipes, minis, nodes for your home instance, and there are specific items required for creating the legendary trinket Aurora. Before we get into some of the unique parts of this Return 2's achievements, let's talk about the fact that every single Return 2 will have certain things that are repeated, such as always going through the original stories, also when you're in the map completing a certain number of events, and finally harvesting from ore, plants, and wood. Tip number seven, and this has to do specifically with this return to, it is reconquering the Chalice of Tears. The Chalice of Tears is a jump puzzle, and it is probably one of the most annoying jump puzzles in, the, well, all over. Without knowledge of how and where to go, it is very easy to get lost or frustrated because one misstep and you are down in the lava, especially seen as mounts and even gliding in certain areas is disallowed. My suggestion is one of three. Number one, go ahead and find someone to port you. Ask in map chap, look in looking for group, and tip them because they deserve it because this puzzle sucks. Number two, go ahead and use taco. I will put up in the corner here a link to the last video I used taco, which in the description, has a specific link to Taco and how it works. The third and another way of doing it so you can at least experience the puzzle if you wish is do it on your Mesmer character or get yourself a prototype position rewinder. The prototype position rewinder is honestly one of the best gizmos in the game. It's fairly easy to get within the Sandswept Isles, which is another Living Story area. I believe that's Living Story 4. I will uh, post in the description a link uh, with the wiki. Um, and it's just bought with the map currency of the Sandswept Isles. But those are the three easiest ways of getting through this without becoming incredibly frustrated. Tip number eight, we look at the meta of the map, which is the giant worm Vermingus. This is Revenge of Vermingus in the Return to Achievements. 
Very easy to do. He is located in the crumbling trail waypoint just south of that in the uh, fractured caldera. Um, he doesn't have a set timer, unfortunately. None of the maps in Living Story Season 3 metas have a specific boss timer. They happen within the map on their own generated. So just keep an eye out in map chat or looking for group for, you know, warm up and then head to that area so you can catch him. He's a pretty fun battle. Takes a long time, um, is a little dragged out for what you have to do, but that is it. Once you're done with this meta, and the jump puzzle, those are the only two unique achievements tied to this storyline of Rising Flame. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you next time.